Hey everyone, my name is Kunal Verma and in this particular video, we'll be taking a look at DevCron and OpenNIST, which are the two Kubernetes management tools out there. The basic aim over here is to help you to choose the right kind of Kubernetes management tool for your particular organization. So let's get started. Now, before moving forward, let's discuss why do we actually need these kind of Kubernetes management tools in the first place. Now, as more and more organizations are on their way to adopt Kubernetes or have already adopted that, there are a lot of complexities that many organizations have to tackle with. So the platforms and tools such as DevTron and OpenLens actually help to tackle those kind of complexities and make the whole workflow much easier. Now, these kind of platforms actually provide you with a seamless interface that eventually helps you to manage your applications in a really easy manner. Now, as I mentioned previously that there are a lot of DevOps challenges that a particular organization have to face. So these platforms and dashboard actually help you to tackle these particular challenges in a really efficient manner. The overall deployment and the management process of the containerized applications become much easier if you are using a Kubernetes management platform. And as a result, you also have a faster debugging process for any issues that may occur while you're deploying your applications. Now, these platforms actually help you to achieve observability for greater control. This essentially means that you are able to track your application performance at each stage of the application versions. Now, let us talk about what exactly is OpenLens and what it brings to the table. So OpenLens is basically the community behind the Lens ID for Kubernetes. It is also called as the open source lens desktop because it is the open source version of the lens ID. It is basically the source code behind the core functionalities of the lens ID. Open lens is where the community and the lens team actually collaborate together to bring out new features and develop the lens ID together. Now you can very well access the source code of open lens on the official GitHub repository of lens and it is distributed under the MIT license. So this was a general introduction of what exactly is open lens. Now let us have a look at some of the feature highlights that OpenLens actually provides us. So it basically gives us the ability to visualize the cluster activity and health. Now you can very well work and manage your apps under a multi-cluster architecture when you're using OpenLens. OpenLens also gives you the functionality for resource grouping within the clusters itself. You can easily manage your Helm chart deployments from the application itself. And it is a desktop based hosting. So the app is available for you to download in your local machine. Now, I particularly want to shed some light on the OpenLens version 6.3 release, which was the latest release that was done by OpenLens. And something really interesting happened here. So let's have a look. Now, with the OpenLens version 6.3 release, there were a lot of similar issues from the one you can see here, where actually people noticed that they were not able to see the logs and the shell button in their respective applications, which they mentioned that these were present in the previous versions. Now, through some discussion in the community, this was announced that there were a few major features that were removed with the newer version of OpenLens, that is 6.3. So let's have a look at two of the major features that were removed with the new release of version 6.3. Now, the first one is exec into your pod or using the inbuilt terminal to go inside your pod for monitoring its activities. So this particular feature was removed with the version 6.3 release, and this would definitely affect the overall troubleshooting and debugging process of your application. Now, the second one is that you won't be able to view the real time logs for your pods that are running in your application. Now, this would definitely affect the overall troubleshooting and debugging process because viewing the logs actually play a very important role when we are talking about these particular processes. So these were the two major features that were deprecated with the new release of OpenLens. Now, let us see how DevTron comes into picture here. So DevTron is an open source Kubernetes dashboard, which provides a seamless software delivery workflow for your applications. The dashboard provides you with a developer friendly interface, which essentially means that you have complete control over the applications that you want to manage and deploy. You also have the ability to fully manage and monitor your cluster activities. You also have the ability to increase the capabilities of your dashboard by using various integrations that are provided. If you want to know more about this particular point, I would definitely recommend you to check out our documentation. Link would be in the description box down below. And last but not the least, this is one of the major highlights of DevTron that it is completely open source. So this was just a short introduction of the open source Kubernetes dashboard by DevTron. 
Now let's have a look at some of the feature highlights that Deftron actually brings onto the table. Now Deftron gives you the ability to deploy and manage your applications across multi-cluster and multi-cloud environment. And one very interesting thing to note here is that this is cloud agnostic and cluster agnostic. That essentially means that you have the ability to use any kind of Kubernetes cluster or cloud provider that is supported by your particular organization. Now in the main dashboard itself, you have a separate section for managing your Helm apps. So you can very well check out your Helm chart configs. You can very well monitor your Helm application matrix as well. And adding on to that, you also have the ability to do advanced logging with the help of grep and JSON search. And this would eventually help you in the debugging and troubleshooting process. Now the dashboard actually provides you with a Helm chart marketplace by default, where you can very well search for pre-built charts and customize it according to your needs. The dashboard also provides you with an easy and centralized access management for cross-team collaboration within your organization. Again, a very interesting fact to note here is that Deftron actually provides you with a very fine-grained access management even at your Helm chart level. So that's pretty interesting. You can seamlessly configure your applications using the configuration files and it is really easy to roll back to a previous configuration change whenever it is necessary. The dashboard itself is self-hosted and you can very well access it using the web as well. Now we discussed a few important features of both the platforms that is OpenLens and Deftron. But the question still remains that how do you actually choose which is the right platform for your particular organization? So here we have a side-by-side -side comparison with respect to the features that both of these particular tools actually offer. Now Deftron natively supports exec into the pods and viewing your real-time logs. Now these particular features were deprecated from the version 6.3 release. That is, you won't find these two things in the default installation. But these can very well be brought back using extensions. Now the functionality of easy rollback is available with both these tools that is Deftron and OpenLens. Now here Deftron actually provides you with the configuration of a particular version when you have to roll back. But if we talk about OpenLens, it only gives you the revision in which you want to roll back. The next one is resource grouping at the cluster level. So this is currently not available in Deftron, but the feature is undergoing some development and it is very well available when you are using OpenLens. The last but not the least is Helm chart release diff. So you can very well view your release diff using Deftron and you can keep track of different versions. But this is something which is actually missing in OpenLens as of now. Now if you want to dig a little bit deeper, you can very well check out this blog where we have done a comparative analysis between these two tools. So if you want to check it out, the link would be in the description box and this would eventually help you to choose the right kind of Kubernetes platform for your particular organization. Yep, that's all for today. These are some of the important social handles of Deftron and feel free to reach us out if you face any issues. Alrighty, see you in the next one.